Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for another Wednesday night of Bible study at St. John Missionary Baptist Church. Our pastor is Dr. Gregory Black and elect lady Patricia Black is our first lady. We do thank the Lord for another day. We're going to open up with a song by Deacon Jesse Everett, scripture by Sister Pearlie Dixon, and prayer by Sister Brenda Ewan. Let's come on, let's praise our God, for truly God has been good to us. First, I'd like to say good evening to everybody. Give an honor to God, to Pastor Black, to Brandon Black, to Brandon Stokes, to everybody else in this great place. Thank God for being back in the house of prayer one more time. Oh, be what you are and live the life. God knows your heart. You can't get by. He's coming back. What you are and live the life. Oh, be what you are and live the life. God knows your heart. You can't get back. He's coming back. He does the world. Be what you are and live the life. If you've been dancing. On the barroom floor, wake up your mind, don't do no more, God's coming back, to judge the world, be what you are, and live the life, be what you are. Verse down to 
the 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Let every heart pray. Yeah. Father, we come before your holy you, presence God. Yes. today, God. God, to tell you thank you for a brand new day we've never seen before, God. Yes. Thank you for life. Thank you for help. Thank you for strength, God. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the blood that is yet continued running warm in our veins, God. Yes. Thank you for how you watched over us all night yes. last night, God. And yes. while we slumbered and slept, wow. God, you are a God who neither slumber nor sleep, oh God. Yes. And God, you woke us up early on this morning, oh God. Yes. Brand yes. new mercies, oh God, to behold a brand new day, oh God. Yes. For that we tell you thank, thank you. you. And God, you have to know, God, our family circle have not been broken mm -hmm. over. Yes. Yes. Father, we ask you right now just to look upon our hearts, oh God. Oh, yes. Forgive us for every sin of omission, commission, oh God. Yes. Anything, any thought that would dishonor you, yes. dishonor your word, or hinder our oh, walk with yes. you, oh God. Yes. Forgive yes. us in the name of Jesus, oh God. Yes. Father, we ask you just to look upon the congregation, yes. oh God. Yes. Waiting to hear a word, Father God. Yes. Hunger for your word. You say, He the hunger and thirst oh, after yes. righteousness, oh God. Yes. You say they shall be filled, oh God. Yes. Father, we thank you that you will lead our pastor, oh God. Yes. Deep down in your storehouse, oh God, yes. you will feed us, oh God, like only you have fed him, oh God. Yes. Father God, rightly dividing the word of truth, oh yes. God. Yes. God, that the hearers, Father God, will be not hearers only, but be yes. hearers of your word, oh God. We tell you, thank you on thank today. You, thank we thank you for your son, Jesus, how he went on the yes. cross, oh God, got the heal, oh God. Oh God, to shed his precious blood, yes. that we will be able to be brought back into a right fellowship with yes. you, yes. Lord. We tell you, thank you on today, oh God. Thank you for how you continue to watch over our oh, children, oh yeah. God. Yes. Oh God, our loved ones, oh God. Yes. Yes. Father God, you say you reign on the just as well as the oh, unjust, oh God. Yes. Father God, we pray for our enemies, oh God. Yes. God, we pray that you would touch their hearts, Lord. Yes. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. We tell you, thank you right now that you yes. turn the hearts, Father God, the people that have turned their back yes. on you, oh God. That you will reclaim the black backslide, oh God. That you will reclaim, Father God, those that have walked away from you, oh God. Father God, you were saved and delivered oh, and set yeah. free, oh God. Move in a mighty special way tonight, oh God. Oh God, as we look to hear from you yes. tonight, oh God. Yes. Father, we're praying for those that members that oh, are sick yes. and shut in, oh God, yes. those that going through the God, procedures, oh God. Yes. Strengthen their bodies, Please, oh God. Touch yes. everyone that's involved with them, yes. oh God. Yes. Those yes. that are in prison, mm -hmm. God. Touch them, oh Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God. Yes. God, we pray in there to see for every leader, every oh, pastor, yes. every bishop, yes. oh God. Strengthen yes. your yes. ministry, your soul safe yes. ministry, the deacons, yes. oh God. The whole household of faith, oh God. Bring down your blessing, oh God. Fill your house on tonight, yes, oh God, with your yes, yes. glory, oh God, yes, that we will not leave out of here the same, oh God. Yes, we tell you, thank you, oh Lord. Thank, thank you for our Lord. pastor, our first lady, yes, the whole yes, family, oh God. May you continue to cover them with the blood of yes, Jesus, oh God. Yes, God, we pray for every family, oh God, yes, that's attached to this ministry, oh God. Yes, yes, God, that you will strengthen yes, us, oh God, yes, and we will pray you for one another, oh God, to love you one another. In the name of Jesus, God, have your way, God, have your way, God, have your own divine way, God. This is my prayer. Yes. In, to, in the name of the Father, oh, yes. in the name of the Son, and of the precious Holy Ghost, yes, in Lord. Jesus' mighty name, mm -hmm. amen. 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 Let us say amen again. Amen. 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 Thanks so much, Evangelist Sturt. Giving honor to God, which is the head of my life, and to everybody else in the history for all the truth. Just a blessing for us to be back into the house of prayer. Some of the time. God is good all the time. Amen. All the praise and all the honor and all the glory. It belongs to him. And tonight to Vanish Stokes and Vanish Black and Vanish Lesson, Vanish Rod, Vanish Horner, Amen. All of our things, everybody. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart let it be accepted in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength. And my Redeemer. Amen. So we know that this week is uh, leading, week, leading up to Easter, leading up to the, the crucifixion. Amen. And truly, uh, it's something to be thinking about. Amen. Because he did it for all of us. Amen. Thank you for that. Tonight, um, we want to go into our lesson on tonight and want to teach from this subject uh, a empty cross led to an empty grave made a full salvation. Right. 
an empty cross led to a full, or empty grave and lead to a full salvation. Let us go to our scripture and, and we'll read this and head back and shout amen. Brandon Stokes, you want to read from uh, Luke chapter 24. Now I'll read it. That's where Luke chapter 24, verse, verse 8, verse. I'll read it for you. Luke chapter 24, verses beginning at verse 1. Now upon the first day of the week was early in the morning. They came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and a certain other and certain other with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the uh oh found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men standing by them in shining God. Mm. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, yeah. they said to them, they said unto them, Why see ye the living among the dead? He is not here, yeah. but he is risen. Mm. Remember how he spake unto spake unto you when you were yet in Galilee, saying, the Son of Man must be delivered unto the hands of a sinful men and be crucified. And the third day rise again. And they remember his word. When we read in chapter Luke, it talks about how uh, that they, they took our Lord and our Savior. Amen. You know the story how Pilate uh, came into the hall and how. And he judged him, and Pilate began to say, you know, he find no fault in him. Amen. And, and they asked him one day, he asked him one time, what is the truth? Amen. You did all that's read in that same text. Uh, and, but anyway, make a long story short. They, they took my Lord and your Savior by right the middle of this week, started leading to a place called Calvary. Amen. God, gospel, heal. Amen. This is why I come. It's so vital, so important that uh, we need to remember uh, Easter, the time that he, he said that he was risen. But make a long story short, they took him on out uh, to God, God for heal. Amen. And, and they nailed him Amen. to the cross. Amen. I heard somebody say something, I think it was last Sunday, a couple of Sundays ago, uh, that really rung a bell. And I said the same thing. We just shouldn't wait till Easter to talk about the resurrection. Amen. Amen. Most of the time we try to wait to. Uh, Easter Sunday to kind of sit around uh, the resurrection. Uh, but we need to be preaching and teaching the resurrection all year long. Amen. 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 Because we need to be dealing with his death, his burial, and his resurrection all the way around. Because uh, the death and the burial and the resurrection is the center of the gospel. Amen. Amen. And so this is how uh, it's going to lead unto salvation. Amen. Amen. And a lot of times in life we feel and we think and act like that we are saved just because we go to church. I mean, you, you're not, you don't receive salvation just because you go to church or just because you sing in the choir or just because you hit up the pastor A club, just because you're the president of the choir. President. They don't have that. God's not concerned about none of that. Amen. But the pattern of fullness of salvation is very important. Yeah. They, they took him and nailed him on the cross. And you don't ever find where Jesus will be mumbling. You don't ever find him complaining. You don't ever find him saying, I really don't deserve this. Amen. And even though that Judas portrayed him, but Judas thought that he had a plan. But guess what? This was all in God's plan. Amen. Yeah. God had, had it all set up. Amen. And they nailed him to the cross. And not only did they nail him to the cross, but the story goes on. You will find out that uh, there were two thieves that were nailed on the cross with him. Amen. And after a while, you know, it was against the law, their law to even have somebody hanging on the cross on a Sabbath day. Amen. And so they wouldn't let him stay up on the cross. They, they took him down off the cross. Amen. Jesus gave up the ghost. Amen. And he still had enough power while he was there. He was telling them, he said, Father, said, forgive them. For they know not what they are doing. 
And every once in a while, and every now and then, every chance we get, we need to tell, ask God to forgive us. Amen. Because yes, sometimes we do some things we don't know exactly what we're doing, but we need to ask God to forgive us. Amen. Make a long story short. They, how, you say, well, how can you come up with that? If you read this text, you will find out they went to the grave. They were looking for him. Amen. 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 But before they got there, they had a conversation. Amen. And God heard the conversation. What was in the conversation? In other words, when we get to the place, uh, how are we going to annoy him? How are we going to put the spices there because uh, a stone was there? But God had already arranged it around so that the stone would be rolled away. Now, he, he, he couldn't be on the cross. Amen. In the grave. That the stone. You, you got it now. So he had to get off the cross. Amen. And somebody might say, well, you know, they drove nails. They drove spikes in his hand, and they, they, which they did. And Well, the nail did not hold him on the cross. Neither did the spikes hold him on the cross. It was love that helped him. I'm going to get to the fullness in a minute. Now, all of this helped him on the cross. And you know what? We have a lot to praise God for on the day. Let me try one more time. We, we, we have a lot to praise him for on today because uh, he hung up for our hand. Amen. He hung on the cross for some stuff that we were hung up on. Amen. And y'all looking at me kind of strange, but some of y'all been hung up. Some of you still hung up on some stuff. Amen. And sometimes it takes the power of the Almighty God to help us to get out of what we are in. Amen. All of us are struggling with different things in our life. But I, I, I said an empty cross led to an empty grave. And an empty cross and an empty grave led to a full salvation. In other words, if it had not been for the cross and if it had not been for the grave, there would have been no hope. You got it now, no salvation. And in other words, when they nailed him to the cross, those who they thought that they had him then. But I want you to know and myself to know today and the whole world to know today, all of this was in God's plan. See, I can catch you by surprise. You can catch me by surprise. But all of us collected together will never catch God by surprise. Amen. He, he already knew that this, this was coming. He, he already prepared for He already knew that this was coming. And the Bible said that when he gave up the ghost, that they, they took Jesus off the cross. And, and when they took him off the cross, the, the Bible said that they, they buried him in Joseph's new tomb. In other words, uh, the commentary brings it out that they, they buried him in a bar. To Amen. In other words, you often hear me say when you borrow something, you need to carry it back. And the reason, oh, it's the reason why Jesus went in a bar to him because he, he, he knew he won't gonna stay there. Amen. But how, how do you say that you know that, oh, oh God, that he won't gonna stay there? Because even before he left, oh, he, he broke bread. He broke, he broke the bread and, and broke took the wine and, and he said, I'm gonna eat with you now, but I'm not oh, you see where I'm going with this now? In other words, he said, I'm showing you just an example. And that ain't all. He, he told them, he said, you know what? He said, they're going to destroy this body. Yeah. But in three, you know, he said, no. He said, they're going to destroy this temple. He said, but in three days, I'm going to rise it back up. And boy, they got them looking around and said, how in the world is they have to destroy the temple? How, how are they going to raise it back in three days? They were thinking about the physical temple, but Jesus was looking at the spiritual part. In other words, he said, well, they, they, they're going to destroy my body. God, help me to tell the story. They're going to destroy my body, but yes, in three days, I, I'm going to rise it back up. So I come to let you know that he died so that I could live today. That's something to praise God about. Let, let, let me try one more time. I said, he died that I could live. And you know what? If you don't have nothing else, we praise God for our home. We praise him for our car. We praise him for our job. We praise him for our knowledge. But we ought to be praising God that he died that we could live. So Jesus they, they, they took him now. They, they took him in, and, and he left the cross. Now I'm, I'm skipping. I'm skipping because I, it's a long story. He, he he left the cross. They took him off the cross now, and, and, and they put him in the bar tomb. In other words, they they was put him in a bar tomb. Have you ever thought about why did they have to put a stone there? The reason they put a stone there because they thought somebody might was steal them away. Amen. Oh, steal them away. But you know, they put that stone there so that they can say, well, we we got it now. We 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 have sealed 
him now. Have a God of witness here. And know what? And, and some, when, when you study the strip, God, this is good. When you study the strip and get into the word of God and start letting God bring it out to you, sometimes you will find out something. Some might say, well, I, I don't understand how did it die? Why did it die? And you know, some things people bring out say, well, you know, he, he died of frustration. He died of pain and agony. He died of suffering. But no, he didn't die for none of that. But no one said, he said, no man taking my life. He said, I got the power to. Oh, my lay it down. I have the power. God help me here. I have the power to pick it back up. Did you not know? Oh my, did you not know he had enough power to for those who were trying to kill him? He could kill them. Amen. But no. He'll let it go. Matter of fact, you know, let me just back up just a little bit. Even before Jesus got there, they passed the cup around. Oh, oh. Jesus himself, he said, Father said, let this cup pass me by. Then he called himself, he said, no, he said, be thy will. And, and you know what? God, let me just say this point. I'm going to get back to it. Most of the time when uh, we drink coffee, those that love coffee, and some people love coffee. Nothing wrong with coffee if you don't drink too much coffee. <laughs> but watch what I'm getting ready to say. Uh, uh, sometimes some drugs will be in the bottom of your oh, cup. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes you say, well, I'm going to get rid of this cup of coffee because it had some drugs, some little drugs in it. Well, did you not know that really what make it what you drink? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you follow, you follow what I'm saying? But watch what I'm saying. The, 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 re, the reason why he said, you know, let this cup pass your body and then call himself, uh, uh, he said, Father, if it be thy will. Because guess what? I was in the cup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let, let me try it one more time. I was in the cup. He, he looked down the line of time. I'm, I'm talking about a, a, a empty cross led to an empty grave that made a full salvation. Jesus, he did all of us was in that cup. Amen. Amen. That's why he had the drink of the cup. Let me get back to it so we can get to the full of salvation. And, 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 and they took him off the cross and, and, and put him in Joseph's new tomb and put a, a stone there. Amen. And the women were wondering how we're going to anoint him, how we're going to put the shade of spices on him because of the stone. But listen, this is how God worked. When they got to the sepulchre, when they got to the grave, where God helped me to tell, when they got there, the stone was already rolled away. Why? Because all of this was in God's plan. I, I, I think it was yesterday or day, I was just sitting just for a few moments meditating. Everything that took place was already in plan before the world was. Right. Amen. Amen. Jesus didn't plan, or God did not plan this after uh, Jesus was already here. All of them was in plan before the world was, and God just being sure his plans had been carried out. Amen. Now they were there, the Bible said that there, there was a gardener there standing around there, and those women came there, and he asked them a question. It's ready in the same text. He said, Why? Why? See, it's right in the text. Why? He said, Why? They, he asked them a question. I, I'm talking about an empty cross led to an empty grave. Now we got a full salvation. Listen, he, he said, Why ye see the living among the dead? In other words, you come here uh, looking in here, and this man is already, he's already risen. First thing they thought about, somebody has stole him. They said, well, if, if somebody has, has stole him, just tell them where you have laid him. But you know what? Didn't nobody steal him. Everything went down according to plan. As a matter of fact, it started with all the way from Judas all the way through. He, he already knew that Judas was going to portray him. Hey, guess what? Judas could have been saved if he stopped long enough to repent. God would have forgave him gave him another chance. But according to the word of God, he went out there and, uh oh and so now, watch this now. The, the Bible said right early, one Sunday morning. And, and right as of today, none of us know exactly what Sunday morning was. But the only thing we know that it was right early, one Sunday morning. And, and while, now keep in mind, Jesus had left the cross. They had taken him from the cross and carried him to the sepulchre, carried him to the grave and rolled a stone back. And then watch this. And then he was always there them three days and three nights. But watch this. And right now on this Wednesday, their preparation was getting ready. Uh-oh. Uh, you'll catch it later on. I said today is Wednesday. Pre 
preparation is getting ready for them to crucify him. Can, can you imagine in your mind somebody you're going to be killed in a couple more days? Can you sleep all night? Can you keep on cooking? Can you keep on cleaning? Can you keep on doing what you were doing? But guess what? None of that didn't bother Jesus Christ. Matter of fact, I, I, don't even, I haven't even read where he said, I need me a good lawyer. He didn't say none of that. Why? Because he got all, he got all had all power in his hand. Now watch this. The Bible said, but early one Sunday morning, when they got there, he had already risen. Oh, yeah. Nobody knows. Can nobody tell you exactly what time if you do? I would just love to read. Now, nobody can tell you he rose exactly 1045, he rose exactly 1050. Nobody knows because when they got there, he was already gone. Oh. Only thing that we know right early. One Sunday morning, he was already gone. And when he rose, guess what he said? He said, when he rose, he rose with all. That's where salvation come in. Listen, this man, he, 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 was, he was our substitute. Let me try it again. He was our substitute. Those of you that have ever worked in the school system, most of the time when the, the teacher cannot be there, they would call in a substitute. And, and sometimes, how many know the substitute is not like your teacher? Amen. <laughs> but this substitute, amen. I'm glad he's my substitute. Amen. In other words, this substitute led from the grave, led from the cross to the grave, and now he's made a way out of nowhere. He is the one that calls us to have salvation tonight. He is our substitute. Every once in a while, we ought to celebrate just for our substitute. Why? Because if it had not been for him, we you would have been dead and gone a long time ago. But no, because of my substitute, I'm still here. Because of my substitute, I still can lift my hand. Because I'm talking about a substitute. I'm talking about one that God helped me to tell the story. One that died on the cross when I wasn't fit to live nor good enough to die. But he traded place for me. John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And on tonight, I thank God for my substitute. Oh, yeah. Well, we moving on to the next day to God. This is good. Amen. Amen. I didn't know we were going to go like that. Amen. But I thank God oh, for yeah. the empty cross oh, yeah. that led to an empty grave. Yeah. And now we got a full Some people think that their salvation comes through them by their gift. But I come to beg you pardon on that one. You can be gifted without repentance. Amen. Amen. Did you not know just because you can sing very well, they don't have nothing to do with your salvation. Amen. Amen. Boy, somebody called me tonight, but I ain't gonna change. Okay, how well you can preach? What? No, the devil can do all of that. Amen. So you can be gifted without repentance. Amen. And just because you work in the church faithfully and work in the church diligently, that don't have nothing to do with your salvation. I mean, we should be helping some work. That's good. But your salvation should come first. Have I got a witness here? I, did you not know? I prefer, this is me, I prefer to be saved without any position Amen. and no power Amen. and make it with God then have all the position oh, and have all the power and no salvation. Amen. So Jesus Christ, yes. he died that we would have full salvation. I, I wish I had an amen right there. Oh, yeah. See, the enemy don't want you to hear it. That's why I come and let that fall. Watch this. Listen, Jesus Christ, he died Somebody is listening that need to hear that. Jesus died that you and I will have full salvation. Amen. 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 Then let me try it one more time. He died on yonder's cross that you and I will have full salvation. Not part salvation, but full salvation. Let me see how can I say this. This is not in my notes. And just fell out. Watch this. This is why I come. Paul, it brings it out now that when you're saved and have salvation, you just not only save part time. Amen. Amen. Uh oh. Well, even though after you're saved, 
you make mistakes. Amen. But here's the difference. It's a difference than making a mistake and practice wrong. Amen. Mm. Amen. All of us can make some mistakes in our life, but we shouldn't practice wrong. Watch this. I brought this out three Sundays ago. I said, but when you are saved, when God saved you, you can accept him or you can reject him. Amen. Now watch this. Eat God, this is good. I ain't even got to this. Listen. Even before we were born in this world, Amen. he knew everybody Amen. that would be saved. And when he saved you, he just don't save you and leave you dangling in the hand. Amen. He saved you and then he see a book of giving this. Save and see. Listen. Woo! God to my God say, I'm my SS. SS. Super sports. Ah, I'm my SS. Ah, you do so I'm saying. <laughs> it's good to be a super Christian. And just because you are super, it's not saying you're not going to make a mistake. It's not saying do that wrong. But when you somebody says, tell them, I'm a yes, yes, I'm a save, and I'm seen. And when God, listen, you are not just only say have salvation and saved just for a, a little while. But even through the stars, and even through the drama, even through the stuff that you go through in life, I'm, you still saved. Even if God help me up in here, I'm talking about an empty cross to an empty grave to a full salvation. You know what? Every once in a while, we ought to thank the devil. <laughs> Somebody said, that man has lost it. No, thank you. Thank you for what? Thank you for every trial. Thank you for every tribulation. Thank you for every heart knock that they brought. Because you know what to do? Then that make you strong. Yeah. Why? Because James said, when you fall and die, was tempted. He said, oh, count all joy. And then Paul talked about, said, for our light affliction, uh oh, just for a moment. For the things that we see are temporal, but the things that are eternal, we don't see that. And guess what? This is where we ought to be shouting right now. Just know that you're saved. I'm not perfect, but just to know that you are saved. Just to know that you got shout, God help me. Just to know that you, listen, you may not have a job, you may not have, you may, may not have no money, but God knows you can run back and say, I'm saved. Yeah. 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 God, God, this is Lord have mercy on Jesus. And you know what? And, if, if people can, nothing wrong with it if you do it in the right way. Listen, if, if people can celebrate Christmas, if they can celebrate New Year, but well, let me leave them alone. But if people can celebrate the Independence, they can celebrate the 4th of July, I think you ought to celebrate our salvation. And every once in a while, you ought to celebrate your salvation. You know that God has saved you. You know that God has delivered you. And God has brought you out. And can you look back over your life and see that you're not like you used to be. Don't walk like you used to walk. Don't talk like you used to walk. And you can look around and say, God, I'm saved. God, I thank you for my salvation. Amen. Let me get to this. Oh, God, this is good. Uh, uh, an empty cross led to an empty grave and it led to a full. Well, why are you saying full salvation? Why? Because God had given us everything pertaining to life, what we need. Amen. God had given us that. And guess what? He. Mm, hallelujah. Mm. Every trial. That we go through. Oh, yeah. God is right there. Yeah. He's right there. Yeah. But just knowing. Yeah. That you're saved. Yeah. I, I can't get away. I know what to be honest with you. I, I would meditate. I, I hope God would just catch me somewhere. And everything I turn to. Savage just kept falling. Uh -huh. Falling everywhere. And, and sometimes when God needs you to do something. Get he, he would just drop it all right in your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody said won't he do it. Let's get to salvation. Listen, salvation. I'm talking about full salvation now. Salvation. Now, I, I just read a while ago from, from the first day of the week in the world, and then they started believing what would happen. Guess what? This is the purpose of Jesus Christ died so that we would have full salvation. Amen. Now, this, this is just a portion of it. 
because it goes on, you know, I, I, I didn't even get to the point because we wouldn't even be, we'd be here all night trying to get to it. I didn't even miss the point about how he shed his blood. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even get to the point how they put the crown on his head. I didn't even bother the point about they put a vinegar, put vinegar on a reed. Then mm -hmm. they bothered another. I, I didn't even bother the point about how they beat him unrecognized. Oh, yeah. But guess what? Watch this. Well, I won't, I won't mess with it tonight, but I feel like it. Watch this. When they put a crown on his head, blood came out. When they drove nails in his hand, blood came out. When they drove blood, when they drove nails in his feet, blood came out. And guess what? All those stripes that they put on blood came out. But only one time and only one place. When they hit him in the side, blood and water came out. <laughs> oh, and, and that's what it said, blood. Oh, blood and more. And then the strip said, you know, without, no, without the red, shedding of the blood, we, we ought to, there would be no remission for sin. And guess what? We ought to thank God for his shed blood. In other words, I mean, you're going to have to really believe and have faith and confidence in him that he shed his blood on Calvary Crawl. And you know what? We may not see a lot. We may not think a lot. But guess what? He shed his blood for all of us. All of us have something in common. God, Jesus Christ died for all of us. I don't have time to mess with that because it's not in my tent. I was reading some years back. I think when we went to Durham somewhere, I was reading the study so much about that blood. It said every drop of blood meant something. I said, yeah. come. It said every time a, a blood would, a drop of blood would drop, it meant something out of life. And we don't need to take this light with it. That's why I come out and say we should just, just wait till Easter time to talk Amen. about his death, his burial, his resurrection. We ought to talk about it all year long because that, that is the gospel right there. His death, his burial, his, that is the gospel right there, right by itself. And if we leave that out, we have left it all out because that's why he died that you and I could live. That's why he came that you and I could have life and have it more abundant. Guess what? We shouldn't be walking around with our hung head hung out. This man died on the cross for the sins of the whole world. Amen. Amen. Oh, have mercy. Amen. Oh, yes. Let me hear the salvation. Salvation is a work done in your life and in my life through and by Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Amen. See, some folks think that they can work and get it. No, it, it, it don't happen like that. Amen. Because if that was the case, you know, you, you work a while and, and you know, then do something, I think you can get credit for it. No, and I'll tell you something later. There's a lot of folk that's in the house of God that is saved. You don't ever see them move. Amen. 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 See, you think it's the one that always standing in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. You think it's the one that always ushered, the one in the choir. No, but there, there, there are some quiet Christians. I tell you what, sometimes you know what, sometimes they're living a better life than we're living. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You, you see what I'm saying now? So, so God can take those people that are very sometimes quiet. Not even if there's nothing wrong with your emotion. Bottom line, we're gonna have to mean it from our heart. So now we have a full salvation. Don't never say, you know what? And I catch myself sometimes with my head hung down. Sometimes I find myself drifting off in a pity part, you know. I find up and get like that. Hey, keep that my man, you saved, man. And so you get to get like that, y'all say, you know what, I'm saved. And guess what, saved folks just don't, you just don't walk around with you. You might drop it down, but you start thinking where the Lord has brought you from, what the Lord has done. You lift your head, why this way? Oh my God. And you know what, we got something to praise God for. We have something to shout about tonight because I am saved. Oh yes. Oh yes. My wife said this quite often sometimes. She said, if they can go to a ball game and make a noise, I think we ought to make a noise. Amen. And we just inquire, look what the Lord has done. Right. He made more touchdown than anybody else in my life. Oh. He made more home run than anybody else in my life. Have I got a witness here? He's the one that we ought to, guess what? He's my Super Bowl. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And you know what? I, I'm going to root for him. Because he's going to always win. Amen. In other words, Jesus, guess what? <laughs> he fought, Amen. but we won. Oh, my God. Let me try again. Jesus fought the battle. 
but we want to honor. And guess what? And now that he fought for us, we ought to be going through here chilling. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to glory to God. He said, I have overcome the world. And if Jesus Christ has overcome the world, we owe him a praise on the night. Every once in a while, we ought to stop and give God a crazy prayer. It does not matter if folks are in your room, folks in your house, whether they lack it or not, but as good as God has been to me, I cannot afford not to praise him. I cannot afford not to lift my hand. I cannot afford not to tell him thank you. He was there for me all the time. When I wasn't fit to live, nor good enough to let me try it one more time. When I was when I was up to nothing, up to no good, I said, a man, save me. It don't matter about how many walks away from you. Yeah, yes, Lord. It don't matter how many folks leave you along the road. Lord. Just know that you're saved. Yeah. Just know that God has got your back. Lord. And you know what, God? This is not God. This is good. Listen, they turn away from Jesus Christ. Don't feel timid. Don't feel bad if your friends or whatever turn away from you. You keep on walking with God because he's the one that can see you through. He's the good shepherd. Salvation is much more than just knowing God. Yeah, That's why come I said full salvation. Full. A lot of people know that there's Jesus Christ. But guess what? That's all they do is know it's Jesus Christ, but they don't believe in him. Uh -oh. yeah, we got to believe in him. And see, once we start believing in him, then we can trust him. Amen? Amen. Salvation, listen, it is available. Why, 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 and how is it available? This is why we talk about a full salvation. And, and most of the time, just because we have stuff, mm -hmm. we think we got it made. So. But brother, so let me tell you something. Your stuff ain't no good when you get ready to die. Amen. Amen. Let me try it one more time. Oh, yeah. While you're alive, your stuff can help you. But when you get ready to clock out of here, your stuff is no good. There's nothing wrong with stuff, but put Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the little other man, and put that ahead of your stuff. Amen. 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 Oh, help us here. Help us here, God. Yep. Salvation, it is a matter of saving Jesus Christ. Amen. Why are we are rejecting him? He did what nobody else could do. Yeah. Nobody could do. Amen. But he died for it. Mm -hmm. Let me jump off a note. Come on, listen. Not, not only that. This man suffered. Oh, yeah. They said he, he suffered. He bled. He died. Mm -hmm. This man went through a lot of pain. Amen. And a lot of agony. Mm -hmm. A few years back, you remember when this show came out called The Passion? I mean, that will make you cry. Oh, yes. Especially if you believe in him. Mm -hmm. But he did all of that so that we could have life. Amen. So guess what? He did all of that so that we could live, so that we could go to heaven. Amen. Then watch this. We teach and we preach about his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Watch this. If, if Jesus Christ did not rise, did not get up out of the grave. All of our teaching is in grave. Amen. 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 And see, some folks want to kind of question to my, who else you know that got up? I ain't worried about who else. Lord, he got up. He, he the only one. Guess what? He was human, but he was yet divine. He the only one that rose up out of the grave with all power. He got the resurrection power. Let, let, me, let me jump off my notes and come back. God, this is good. Uh, uh, John chapter 11, hey, verse 1 through probably 35. And it talks about how when Lazarus was sick, I'm still talking about salvation. Watch what I'm saying. You, you know how Mary and Martha, they sent for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said he aborted, he stayed where he were for four days. Mm -hmm. Guess what? But Jesus already knew it. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no surprise to him. Right. They, they sent for him, but it wasn't no surprise. But he already knew it. But well, watch this. He said, look. He said, we got to go over because Lazarus is sleeping. 
And they said, well, did that do him good? Amen. But Jesus said, no, he did. Amen. Amen. That's exactly what he said. And when Jesus got close enough, the sister said, Jesus said, if you had a been here, oh, brother. our brother and your friend Lazarus wouldn't have died. Amen. And, and Jesus replied back, well, you'll see him again. See, Jesus got a way of doing that thing. Amen. Watch Amen. it. He said, you'll see him again. And then she replied back to him, I, I know I will in the resurrection. <laughs> Jesus said, well, what are you talking to the resurrection? He said, I am. He said, I am the, the, the only one that can say who he is and be who he is when he says exactly who he is. I am the resurrection. Well, watch this. He said, well, you know, where have you laid? They, they still kept running on complaining. Sound like a, well, if you've been here time enough, you know they don't embalm. You know he's smelling now. John, 11th chapter, you read it? He said, uh, you know he's smelling now. And guess what? Here we go again with that stone. <laughs> Here we go again with that stone. They went to the grave, and guess they were, you know, he said, you know, get somebody to roll the stone back. Amen. If, if we can just roll our doubts back, oh, yeah. we can make it through the fire. Yeah. We can make it through the storm of life. Amen. They got to the grave where, where Lazarus was, and I'm going to say this and get back to my point. God, this is good to me tonight. Listen, Jesus, with his all-knowing self, oh, yeah. he even prayed to God. He said, Father said, you know, we, we the God heads and, you know, said, I already know. He said, we already know. He said, but just for the sake of these that's standing around, full salvation. <laughs> full salvation. And guess what? You, you don't find Jesus talking loud. Lazarus, come over. The scripture said, said Lazarus just got rid of You know, Lazarus probably was glad. <laughs> but he <laughs> couldn't <laughs> run to him. He could have had him wrapped. <laughs> Every once in a while, you got to tell them, get these grave clothes off. <laughs> See, when you are not saved and living in the world, you walk around wearing grave clothes. <laughs> oh, my. Well, you don't know this. Oh, my. This, but guess what I said? Watch this. I, I love that story. Watch this. And the only thing Jesus said, Lucy. Guess what? It's called the clothes covering off. Oh, yeah. and, and see, when, when you're wrapped in, in, in clothes, something like that, you gotta do like the, the bunny wrap. You gotta kind of hop a lot. You know what oh, yeah. you, you can't run. But guess what? When God, when Jesus gets them gray clothes, oh, yeah. the gray clothes represent the sin, the way you live in your life. When he gets that stuff off of you, God help me here. When he gets all that stuff off your life, you don't have to be hopping to Jesus. You can run to him. You can run to him with a prayer. You can run to him with a thank you. Thank you. All right, Thank you. Thank you. If you all know what it took for me to get here today. Mm -hmm. I said, well, all you got to do take 903. Some people know what? Sometimes take more than 903. Yeah. Y'all wow. find that kid that laid on. <laughs> hey, let me hit a few more points. This is good because we got to pray. I'm not even getting no way through this. Salvation cannot be earned. Amen. Let me Amen. tell you something. Don't let nobody fool you to my girl talk. You really say you really got it. Now you better know for yourself. Amen. Amen. Because I'm not going to make it because of what you say. Right. And you're not going to make it because of what I say. You're going to have to make this journey for your sin. Yeah. This is why we die because of the full of our salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. People who that are people who are to be saved, listen, we must come to Jesus Christ and accept him as our personal Savior. Amen. And even I had to drop down on a note. And listen. Coming to church is not coming to God. Amen. Didn't you hear me say from time to time? It's not if you want to join church, but guess what? I prefer you join Jesus. Amen. Because guess what? If you join the church and have not joined Christ, I didn't got no problem on my hand. Oh, yeah. But if you join Christ and then join the church, I got a little. Uh -oh. See, here's what some people are going to do. They're going to try to 
all, all of us in here have been trying to mess around with just last minute to do something. Don't, don't go. Everybody has done that. So, well, I'm going. I'm going to do it. Say, well, I, I'm, I, I'll catch a little bit later. You keep putting it off. Keep putting it off. And then you get ready. Then the ticket sold out. Then you made. Uh. <laughs> but guess what? You mess around and put on salvation. You get mad all you want to. It's not going to change Jesus' mind. Because you have enough time. You have enough time to get it right. Don't listen. The Bible says, the day that you hear my voice, harder not your heart. Come unto me, all of you that are labor and heaven labor. He said, and I, he said, I will give you rest. He ain't talking about just laying out there. I'll save you. That's what he's talking about. He said, I will save you. Listen, formal worship is not coming to God. Uh-oh. Doing good work is not coming to God for salvation. Coming to God, it means we're going to have to leave something. Even if we're leaving our sin, leaving our righteousness. Uh-oh. Yeah. Leaving our righteousness. Our this, listen, oh, hold on, listen. You, you can't make it by your own righteousness. Oh, our righteousness just like a feel. Oh, my God. It's no good. If my righteousness does not line up with the word of God, it's no good. This, that's my theory. I don't know how long we're going to live, but it's time for us to go back to the basis and do it God's way. And we go back to the basis and do it God's way, we will have no problem making it in God's kingdom. Yeah. Listen, yes, you're going to make some mistakes, but don't practice it it's wrong. When you make a mistake today, don't make that same mistake tomorrow. Go back and say, God, I didn't say it right. I didn't do it right. Father, forgive me. I want to go back and do it right. Everybody's not going to love you. Amen. Everybody's not going to speak well of you. Amen. Everybody didn't love Jesus Christ. He went somewhere early every morning. Oh, yeah. He put clothes on their back. Uh oh. Yeah. Food on their table. Yeah. He keeps them in the right mind. God help me here. He gives them strength. Oh, yeah. And he still loves them. Look at all the folk that cuss him every day. And he be sure he wakes up every morning. Teach. I'm talking about a full salvation. Mm -hmm. Look at since God talking about. Look at since we've been saved, how we messed up. Amen. Amen. We ain't nothing but a bucket of mess. Amen. How we messed up. But guess what? He didn't throw us away. Amen. If you go home tomorrow or go to Walmart tomorrow, wherever you go, and buy a dozen of eggs, and five of them eggs is bad, you want to throw the whole carton away. Uh, he give me the amen that time needed, didn't he? You, if you don't throw it away, you'll carry it back. Uh, and some of y'all say, well, if, if two of them mess with it, I don't want none of them. But look at our life. Look at how many times that we have backed here. Look at how many times we have done wrong. Look at how many times that we have forsaken the law. But guess, just because I have full salvation, he didn't throw me away. Another full salvation. I'm in the boat with this. Sometimes when we have our automobile, after we drive them a long time, and you know, they don't have much value when the value go down. And we won't put liability and collision on it. We say, well, I'm just going to put liability on it. Now, you know how that works. That take care of the other man, but you being fault, you lost out. Well, if you don't put liability, suppose a deal here, you got to pay for that deal here. That's right. That's right. Well, watch what you're ready to say. But I'm so glad that when we got full salvation, I got full coverage. And you know what? This full coverage here, God, this is good. When you got full insurance, if you be involved, both of y'all automobiles is covered. Right. And guess what? If you got full salvation, if you say something or do something wrong against that person, even though you're hurting that person, both of y'all are still covered. And guess what? He will fix you and say, I paid it all on camera club because I gave you the full salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. Going to heaven ain't no joke. It's a whole lot serious, and the older I get, the more I see it. It's a whole lot more serious than what you think it is. Amen. We got to be sure we got this thing right. Mm -hmm. Let me try it one more time. We got to be sure we got it right. right. Listen, I'm not going to do everything you want me to do. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to agree with everything that you say you do. Oh, yeah. I know you're not.
not going to agree with everything I say and do. But guess what? We don't have to fall out. Amen. 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 Y'all might have quiet in And some of y'all want to talk. Well, I tell you, that's just what, how I am. Uh. You can't make it to hell how I am. Amen. You got to love folks in spite of. I don't care. I, 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 I'm going to keep it on saying because I call me home. I don't care what they say to you about you. If you got full salvation, regardless of what you say and do, I'm still going to love you. Oh. Now, I may not love what you said and done, but you in the vision, I'm going to love you. And you know why, God? Because you ain't want me going to hell. Amen. Amen. Nobody said that. Ain't nobody worth that. Lord, it's spring time. I, we're going to have to get this on another session. God, you know, I'm, I'm not even no way through. But I'm, I'm going to stop at this point so we can pray. It's, it's praying time. It's, the truth declares that there is a mediator between God and man. Amen. This is why God, Jesus left the cross on uh, the end of the cross and empty the grave to make a full salvation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just stop on this. We know no way through. Listen, I, I said an empty cross led to an empty grave and it led to a full salvation. What, what are you saying? When he rose out of the grave with all power, yes. he became our district attorney. Mm -hmm. He became our Mediator. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He became our spokesman. Oh, yes. See, when you go to court, if you don't know the law, you better get you a good law. <laughs> Woo! But get you a good law. And, and, and sometimes the, 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 the lawyer, the judge, will call the law and say, we the to bench. And you sometimes you don't know exactly what they're saying, but sometimes it can be way out of line. But guess what? This full cover, this full salvation is. And he's going to be our mediator. And judgment time comes. He's going to speak for us. I don't know about you, but I want Jesus to be my lawyer. I want lawyer Jesus to be my lawyer. Amen. Guess what? He ain't no grand jury. Man. Ain't about just him and the judge. Uh-oh. Guess, guess what? God is going to be the judge. But just because I have full coverage, full salvation. I mean, the, the enemy might try to say, he lied over there. He done this over there. But yes, but, but I, I can see Jesus there, but you are God. I, I, I got this case. I, I'm going to speak on behalf of God. It's good to have somebody to speak for you. And you know what? I'm, I'm glad. He's been speaking for me. It's good Amen. to have somebody else to speak for you. Yes. And, and, and God can, Jesus can stand there and say, I, he, he messed up. Oh, yeah. He done wrong. He said, but I'm here to defend him over there. Every once in a while, you need a holy defense lawyer. And his name is Jesus Christ. All of us have sinned. All of us have come short of the glory of God. You need him as your lawyer. I can't afford. I might afford can afford more down here. But when it comes down to my salvation, I can't afford. Maybe another lawyer. Oh, yes. Lawyer Jesus. He's going to be the one Amen. to see us through. Yes. And him the cross. Oh, yes. And him the grave. Led to full coverage of salvation. Yes. And when you got full coverage, if you in fault, mm -hmm. your car is taken care of. Mm -hmm. If the other man is fault, mm -hmm. he's taken care of. Oh, yeah. When you got full covers of salvation, yeah. if you mistreat somebody, guess what? Now that I got full cover, I'm going back and asking for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, you see where we're going with that now? So we got to be sure yeah. that Amen. we have full, full coverage. Amen. Amen. Let's get ready and pray. If there be a person who want to volunteer,
and pray tonight. I appreciate it. If not, I go to the throne. I will go to the throne at the help of God. Big Bob. I can hear you. Can I say something to your chance? Yes, you want to do it before we pray? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we were our first door coming to St. John to the old church. Yes. One of the services that you preach about the tricks of the devil. Oh. And you said one of the biggest tricks will make you think you got more time than you really do. That's still true. true. That's true. That's still make, he, yeah, that's right. He makes you think that you, you got plenty of time, but you don't have plenty of time. That's exactly right. And you get comfortable out there. And this is where we're going to play the that out. Um, this is where we are now. A lot of us think we got plenty of time that you're going to be. Let me share this with you. That's a good point. I'm going to say it. I, I was sharing with somebody somewhere uh, within the last couple of weeks ago. And I, this is exactly what I told them. I said, look. I said, if you're already 65 years old, I said, it's unlikely you're going to get 65 more. <laughs> Might as well just say it like it is. If you 40, you probably get 40 more. But you 65 and 70 years old, it's kind of unlikely that you're going to get that many more. So, you know what I told him? I said, well, it's like this. You're not climbing. You're going down. So you don't never know. I mean, of course, you know, I'm just using it for a parent, but I mean, 35 years old, 40, 54, they die too. But I'm just using it for a Sarah that, you know, if you're already 65, you, you don't have time to play around. Amen. Amen. You don't have time to cut the food. Oh, yes. Need to be serious with it. And in the key, he talks to me all the time. Oh, you got plenty of time, boy. Say, look for it. You know, and sometimes he'll thought your family got a long life. What that got to do with me? Amen. Amen. I mean, it'd be good if I could live. I mean, I, I, let me say it. I'm going to say it like this. Yeah, the blacks and the parker, they have a long, them long life for them. But they don't have nothing to do with me. I mean, even though I'm a kid to them, but that's don't say I'm going to live like this. Am I making any sense? Yeah. Most of them got on up in their high 80s and 90s. Well, well up there. Yeah. Well, who said you're going to get that? Yeah. There's some family around here that the littles. Miss, I do for that. Miss Bond family. Mm -hmm. They're life people. Yeah. Well, who said that the little? Yeah. Well, who said you're going to live that? Well, I, I, I'm just on the 78, 68. I, I got 25 more. You Don't you count on that? Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says, Three scores and ten. My reason, sir, sir, four score. That's it. So now if you already got seven, you already reached. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So good like what I said. You can't depend on that time. The devil had hey, you think you got plenty of time. And don't fool yourself by feeling good. Amen. Amen. Just because God and I feel better than I ever feel. Amen. Watch out. Don't, don't fool yourself. Amen. Don't, don't fool yourself. You wake up tomorrow morning, you say, I tell you what, I feel like doing it all day. <laughs> don't fool yourself. Amen. Because you can wake up feeling good this morning before the sun go down. <laughs> all right. Let me hit, hit this name, amen. Very good. Uh, on our sick list, there's some more that I still want to get on to. Uh, uh, Sister Carolyn Atkinson, amen. Sister uh, Donnell Williams. Uh, Russell Evans, Mr. Andy Rogers, we're going tomorrow, Mr. Dean of uh, Atlanta, Holly, uh, Mother Gladys Miller, Mr. Tiffany Moore, James Smith, Mr. Lois Howard, Mother Lucy Bunn, Sister Anna Mae Wallace, Mother Eva Clemens, uh, Brother Wyatt Whitfield, Brother Arthur Everett, Brother James, uh, Elvira Black, uh, Robert Johnson, Louis Stanley, Mary Spragley, Mike Outlaw, and Ern uh, Evangelist Ernestine Langley. Amen. It's three more than anybody else ever. I know it's three more, but uh, I have to write them down now. Amen. All right, we're getting ready to pray. Did anybody want to volunteer and pray? If not, we'll stand. Let us stand. Most gracious and all wise and eternal God, we come again tonight oh, to yes. tell you thank you. thank you. We thank you for our last night rest. We thank you for early rising this morning. Yes. We thank you for life and thank you for what you have done and what you are getting ready to do. Thank you for bringing us from the rock and our cradle right up to this present time. Yes. Father, we have stumbled, we fell along the way, oh, yes. but by you being God, uh, you didn't throw us away. 
Father, we thank you for that. We still thank you for shelter. Thank you for food. Thank you for having a do right mind. Thank you for leading us and guiding us and directing us. Father, you said that man ought to always pray. And whether two or three just gather together in your name, you will be in the midst. And so, Father God, we are your children and you are our Heavenly Father. We all are standing in the need of prayer. Some is for one thing and some are for another. But God, you know what we need even before we ask. So, Father, we pray tonight for strength tonight. God, we are weak. But God, we know that thou art strong. David said that you'll be a very present help in the time of need and in the time of trouble. So, Father, we're looking up to you now because you the author, you the finish of our faith. And, Father, because you got all power. And so, Father, we ask you to look on us and have tender compassion, have mercy on us today. And, Father, because we cannot do nothing without you. Father, we pray for all those names that we call. Father, you know their strength. You know their weak. You know their downfall. You know their upright. You know everything that they are going through. So, Father, we pray that you would touch them now. Even on tomorrow, Van and Friday go to the hospital. Father, we ask you to have the holy divine way. And Father, those that's all over the world that's down and out sick and shedding in the rest home, we know that you are here. We know that you are there. You are everywhere. So, Father, we just intercede for them right now. Father, we're praying for the president, vice president, everybody that's in leadership. Father, we pray for all the pastors all yes, over yes, the whole world. Yes, Father, those that's burn out, those that's yes, really been yes, throwing the towel. Father, yes, touch yes, their heart, yes, touch their mind, yes, and touch yes, their soul. Yes, Let them know that you are still God. You still got all power. Yes, yes, Father, we pray now yes, for our yes, children yes, and grandchildren yes, and great grandchildren. Father, we pray yes, for the children yes, that's in college, yes, those that's yes, in school. Yes, Father, yes, we pray yes, for the teachers, yes, the principals, yes, yes, the yes, brightest yes, principal. Yes, Everybody that's connected yes, with the yes, system. God, God, we pray for him now. Father God, I realize I've been trying to pray a long time. Here. And God, I know that you is a prayer here, God. So Father, I believe and I know that I'm a shout of a doubt, God, that if I pray and pray right, God, you will hear me again. And so Father, I, I pray tonight, God. God, that you will hear my cry. God, I, I, I need you, God. God, I cannot make it without you. Father, I, I pray for my family, God. Uh, for the Stanley family and the black family. Pray for the, all our families. Pray for them one by one. And Father, we pray for them all connected together. Father, we pray for that sinner man, sinner boy, or girl. Father, that don't know any part of their sin. And Father, that one that's strung out on drugs, the one that's strung out on alcohol. Father, we pray for those children to touch their hearts. And, oh God, touch their mind, touch their soul. God, we know you're in the saving bin. Realize that God that you got all power. And God, we need you to draw us closer, God. God, that we can feel your presence. Oh, God, that we can feel your power. Feel, feel, feel your anointing. Father God, we pray now, God, that you continue to lead us and guide us and direct us. Oh, God, we pray now, God, that you will let us down into the storehouse of your knowledge, of your wisdom, of your understanding. Oh, God, that we will preach and teach your honor, adult, your word of God. Father, that we will preach and teach your death, your burial, your resurrection. Father, that we will preach your power. Oh, God, preach your for Anointed. Realize that God saying they'll come to kill, steal, and destroy. But God, you come that we'll have life. And oh God, that we will have it more abundant. And Father God, we pray, God, we pray, pray, God, for the absent body of the church. God, you know where they are. You know, you know what they have done. Touch their heart, touch their mind, touch, touch, touch God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, we pray tonight, God, that you will give us more love and more peace and more joy. Father, we pray tonight. God, that you would give us the spirit of reading and studying and fasting and praying and meditating. God, that we will think less of ourselves and more about you. Father, we pray tonight, God, that you will put a dance in our feet. God, we pray tonight, God, you will put a praise on our lips. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that you have done for me, my soul cry, hallelujah. God, I thank you tonight for saving. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for setting free. And so, Father, as we leave this place but not your presence. Father, we pray for traveling mercy up and down the dangerous highway and byway. Now may the grace of our Lord let it rest root and abide with us all. Hit for us and forevermore. Let us all say amen. 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 And amen. amen. You may have a seat before we leave. I have something I want to say. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Uh, we want to say uh, we know that this week is 
uh, this month is Revival Week, Revival Month, amen. And we're going to still hold on to Revival Sunday, right on through the fourth Sunday. God says the same. But now, next Wednesday night at this time, we ask everybody, come back and bring a friend. We still going to have Revival. We're going to have Revival here, but it's going to be for Willow Chapel. But we're going to Willow Chapel going to be online. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get the name. I got the number. We're going to make take this black phone and make it my phone. We make it host here so that everybody that's on Will Chapel line could hear just like we're here tonight. And so those that are here and, and just like our uh, phone that goes out tonight, it still will go the same direction. But we're just going to do Will Chapel while we're just here in a setting like we are tonight. So come back next Wednesday night. Come right back to St. John. Amen. Let's be here on time. Amen. We're going to ask, we're going to leave for somebody to give us a song. Pastor Ed's going to let me know. And somebody's going to lead us into a song. That's all we're going to do. And then we're going to preach for about an hour. Or whatever, whatever it takes, whatever God leads. That's what we're we'll going to do. Please, ma'am, please, sir, let's come back on next Wednesday night. We'll be in revival with Willow Chapel online. Next Wednesday night will be the 12th. And the following Wednesday, which will be the 19th. Amen. We'll be going to M. Grove. Amen. That's on the outside of Lewiston. And we hope some of y'all yeah, can go. Let us, we can drive the van. Amen. They, they spray their church just like we do. That's my brother-in-law church. We're going to go down. We're going to be in revival there. Amen. But we're going to go there personally. Amen. And so, but if you're going to go, you need to leave here probably about quarter to six. Amen. So it'll give you a good amount of time. After you get through Lewiston, not very far, right on the left-hand side. So you cross the railroad track, that go Elm Road right there on your left, right there. And so let us pack up, let us go and be a blessing. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. But if you do find, if you don't find, I'm still going to preach if God give me the rain. <laughs>